So all of these goals are all really important to me and I think that they are providing me with a direction of where I want to put my money into. I wrote these goals in January 3rd of 2023 and if I don't hit that then let's try again next year but at least I have a goal that I can aim for and try to achieve. Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my 2023 financial goals that I set in the beginning of this year. So if you want to know what those are, then just keep watching. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Reza. I do personal finance types of videos. So if you like the vibe and the energy around here, then please subscribe to the channel. Okay, getting right into the goals. I, as I mentioned, I wrote these goals in January 3rd of 2023 and it is April, I think it's April 16th today. I will be telling you guys the goal that I wrote and how I'm progressing towards that goal. So let's just dive right into goal number one, which is I will grow my net worth to 200k by December 31st, 2023. So if you guys have seen my net worth video at 29 years old, then you kind of know where I'm at. That was filmed last month. So it's pretty up to date. I don't know if I'll hit 200K by the end of this year, but I mean, who knows? Anything can really happen. So I'm just putting the vibes and the energy out there that that is the number that I want to hit for this year. And if I don't hit that, then let's try again next year. But at least I have a goal that I can aim for and try to achieve. Goal number two is I will raise my salary to 130K by December 31st, 2023. So this goal is tied specifically to my corporate job and I don't think I've actually disclosed my salary number on this channel yet because truthfully I don't think that it has been relevant to any of the videos that I've made previously but I'm not trying to gatekeep my salary. I do find that having a bit of privacy within myself and not just like saying everything out loud on YouTube um, is good. I'm just gonna say that 130k is my goal. I'm close to it and I, again, don't know if I'll hit 130K by the end of this year, but again, who knows? We are shooting for the stars and hopefully we'll land on the clouds. Okay, goal number three, I will have $20,000 saved in my emergency fund. This goal I have probably said in a couple videos already. You guys know if you are a subscriber of mine that I am very, very bullish on my emergency fund. I am aggressively putting money into that account I'm putting about $200 bi-weekly from my paycheck into my emergency fund and currently I'm at $15,000. So I think that we are on track to achieving this 20K goal. The fourth goal that I put in here is I will invest in travel and experiences this year. I think what really inspired this goal is reading the book Die With Zero. I am not going to spoil the book for you, but if you haven't read it, please, please do. It has really inspired me to really use and spend my money on things that matter to me. And one of those things is traveling and having new experiences. During COVID and even after COVID in 2021 and 2022, we did very minimal traveling. I think all, all we did was go to Toronto to visit our family. By we, I mean my partner and I. And I have been really craving a like European experience because we haven't been able to have that since pre-COVID. So this year I'm so excited because I was able to budget and save for a Paris trip that is happening next month for my 30th birthday. So stay tuned for that. I will definitely be doing vlogs and what I spent and of course sharing with you guys some of the things that I get from that trip. The fifth goal that I have in here, and I'm not sure if it actually belongs in this category of finances, but I put, I will own a Cartier Tank Louis watch. This watch has been haunting my dreams and I feel like I have said it on camera so many times that if you are a subscriber of mine, you already know. We are on the path of budgeting and saving for a Cartier Tank Louis watch and I am planning on getting that in Paris for my 30th birthday just because I find that a watch is a very it's a very relevant piece to get because birthdays are usually time markers and this is a watch that i have been dreaming about and something that 
I know that I will wear every day and also after doing a lot of research I find that it does hold value for whatever reason I know that I'm not going to lose any money on it because I can just sell it and make most of my money back and the sixth goal that I have in here is I will continue to invest $200 bi-weekly into my investing account and I've talked about this account numerous times I do put $200 bi-weekly already so I think that having that goal of continuously doing that forms this habit of paying yourself first because of compounding and time in the market will really help accelerate wealth and yeah that is one of my goals for this year and the final goal that i have in terms of finances is actually tied to my side hustle if you didn't know I've got a side hustle called The Line. It is a stationery company that I started in 2020. And one of my goals this year is to hit 100K in revenue for this calendar year. And I've also wrote in here some of the things that I will be doing to achieve that. Some of it is continuing to promote the existing products that I have. And the other side of that is continuing to bring in new and exciting products that will resonate with my customers. So that goal i'm not sure where i'm at yet last year i hit fifty thousand dollars so i'm trying to double that which is going to be difficult i think that i have set systems that will allow me to achieve that goal so all of these goals are all really important to me and i think that they are providing me with a direction of where i want to put my money into and it has really helped keep me in line with saving and investing so those are my financial goals for 2023 please let me know down below what your 2023 goals are and how you are progressing towards them and if you like this content please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and wherever you are i hope you have an amazing day bye guys